After the death of the 40th Olubado of Ibado land, the late Oba Samuel Odulano Odugade I, a new Olubado emerged. He is Oba Saliu Olashupo Adetsunji Aje Ogunguniso I. So on this day, dignitaries from all over the country converged on Ibado to witness as he was handed the staff of office. And telecoms giant Globacom held a reception in his honor. Enjoy it. History was made as Ibado sons and daughters, as well as dignitaries from outside the state, gathered to witness the crowning of the 41st Olubado of Ibado land, Obasaliu Olashupo Adetunji Aje Okunguniso I. The staff of office was also presented to the new king by the Oyo State Governor, Abiola Jimobi, in a ceremony adjudged to be the biggest traditional event in the history of Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State. A colorful event which took place at the historic Moko Hall drew a mammoth crowd, including an impressive list of dignitaries, monarchs, technocrats, politicians, religious leaders and members of the diplomatic community were all present. Prominent among the royal fathers is the Alafi of Oyo, His Imperial Majesty Obalamidi Adeyemi III, the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Eniton Ogunusi, Ojaja I, the Sultan of Sokoto, Muhammad Abubakar Saad III, the Oba of Lagos, His Royal Highness, Oba Rilwan Akiolu, amongst other traditional rulers. The political class were well represented, and leading them is the host governor, Abiola Achimobi, and his wife, Florence, Lagos State Governor, Akimu Miambodi, Ogun State Governor, Ibukunle Amosu, the Governor of Ikiti State, Ayodele Fayoshe, the Governor of Washington State, Raul Varegbashola, and the Governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha. This is under Section 20, Subsection 1, OYS LM 2000, to approve this appointment. Obasali Akomi Olashuko, Adetuji, Ajay Ogubumi Sowan, is now the 41st. Others are former governors of Oyo State, Dr. Omolulu Ulundoyo, Adibayo Alau Akala, Senator Rashidi Ladoja, former governor of Oshun State, Prince Olaguzoyo Oyinola, former governor of Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, and the Minister of Communications, Barrister Bayo Shitu, as well as many others who came to honor the monarch who was a renowned businessman before ascending to the throne. The new Ulubado is taken over the throne at the age of 87 following the death of the 40th Ulubado or by Samuel Odulano Dugade I at the age of 101. He was also a renowned businessman, notable for his musical record label, Omoaje and Babalaje Records. The labels were responsible for promoting several local artists in Nigeria, like Wasiu Ainde, popularly known as Kwam One. I happened to get to know him when he picked me up at 17, when I was 17 years old, and made me a recording artist in Nigeria. And ever since then, I've been with him. And we've done so much together. He has invested a whole lot on me. And we had um, a very long period of relationship that I tell you in business, a very good man. A very good man because he's been able to involve with a lot of people, many artists, both dead and still living. As a record manufacturer, he's been at the forefront of business activities and he has done it so well. 
and is so much passionately in love with his people. The time Baba will spend with the people of Ibadan, nobody can take that away from him. After the installation, a reception was organized by telecom's giant Globalcom Limited in honor of the newly crowned king at the recreation club Ibadan. <laughs> Larry Teriba and son of late Yusuf Olatuji, Abidin Olatuji, were among those who performed at the event. <laughs> An Ibadan person, He's, he loves Ibadan so much, you know, and he takes Ibadan as his own, you know, uh, his own area. So he, anything that has to do with the culture, festivals, and anything that ha happens in Ibadan, he's so much in love with it. So we, we all push and promote, uh, you know, Ibadan. Ours is ours. Our tradition is our tradition. And as a Nigerian company with Global Outlook, it also goes that we should do that, that better than any other person. The man is loved. So, and you know when you radiate love, you just bring cooperation. There will be peace. You know, it's like there will be so much cohesion. And the foundation has been laid by the last KBAC. And this new KBAC, I'm sure, who extrapolate us to the highest level you can think of. No doubt everyone is optimistic about the new Olubado, hoping his reign will bring more development as he brings his wealth of experience working with the state government to help move the state forward.